we as black folks need to like talk more about sex and sexuality because we keep so many things taboo. Coming from my father, it was just like, no, sex bad, don't do it. My mother, she was a little more open, but it was pretty much just sex is kind of taboo and we don't talk about it. When you learn about sex, you learn about yourself. We need to know that it's not dirty um, or something to hush hush and talk about. I think it is important and crucial that we talk about the Black American experience uh, and history of, of sex and how that has trickled down into different cycles of uh, behaviors within our cultures and our families. The ways that, um, that Black sexuality have been exoticized, fetishized, disrupting that narrative is, is hugely important to work towards like sexual freedom and liberation for Black people, which is like always top of mind for me. A lot of the pain, a lot of the shame about our sex and our sexuality does stem from like the colonization of our minds, like as slaves. We've just been groomed to not be full human beings. Sex is one of the main things that makes us human beings. It's like where human beings come from. We are very conditioned and socialized to think that you have to look a certain way, you have to talk a certain way, you have to be a certain way. Organized religion has done its part. Colonialism has done its part. Systematic and structural racism has done its part to deny black people that aspect of who they are. Anything that's out of the, the, hetero, the heteronormative and it's not centered around black men, it's just so taboo. Black men, they can go, you know, have as much sex as they want and they're not called out on it. Whereas black women, we get like the, the brunt of it. If a woman was too over, overly sexual or too out there, they were considered, you know, a derogatory name, you know, a hoe, you know, a slut or anything like that how come I can't express my sexuality just as much as you do? I would also say that like, we need to talk about sex because the reports and facts are, are just showing that like, black communities tend to have higher rates of different types of sexually uh, transmitted diseases and, and challenges. The music that our children listen to is uh, over-sexualized. Without us having these open and honest conversations and accurate, information informative types of conversations it's almost like a lambs to the slaughter type of thing we set them up for failure and then a lot of cases we condemn them for failing I, I think if we can get to a point where we're more comfortable having conversations about sex and educating ourselves about sex then we can get to a, a point where we can start to find healing amongst ourselves sex is a part of our lives and healthy sex is definitely needed within our community if we're going to be full human beings and, and, what, and for us to be truly free, these are things that we need to, to be talking about. And these are the things that we need to be talking to children about so that they grow up in an environment where they feel free enough and, and they feel safe enough. I think when a real dialogue comes along and people are really interested, then real healing can take place. When you, when you heal, then you're closer to freedom. You get free.